Workplace bullying as a concept is rather new. We've only been really thinking about it for the last decade. And so we often look at what's happening within school bullying area to, to learn. And what we find is that one in five children are being bullied at school and one in three people are affected by bullying at work. And nothing very much has changed in the school bullying area, despite all the so-called programs. And so I think if we're going to reduce workplace bullying, we have to take it a lot more seriously. And we have to start thinking about what is the actual damage to the organisation and to the poor target whose brain may never be the same. There's a growing body of American research showing that being ostracised by your peers is not only bad for your brain, but changes the brain. And in fact, uh, people like Matthew Lieberman see it as a basic instinct to be part of a tribe. In fact, we know that if lions are excluded by their pride, they don't survive unless they find another one. So being uh, part of a group at work and then suddenly not part, uh, people turning against you, per people being quiet when you walk in the room, if you're homesick because you've been bullied by the manager, nobody bothers ringing, nobody sends flowers or balloons as, as they would if you had a physical accident. Nobody rings to say, say, how are you going? And so you feel a personal failure, you feel a professional failure, and people disintegrate under that. If someone feels they're being bullied, then they need to do a number of different things. First of all, they've got to take a record. Secondly, they can't dismiss it and say, oh, that's just John or Mary's had a bad day. They've got to listen to their guts and listen to their survival instinct and do something. Now that might mean reporting it to an appropriate person, going up to Mary or John and saying, I don't know what happened uh, yesterday, but uh, I'm a bit confused. Perhaps you can explain why you yelled at me in front of customers, or I don't know why you didn't include me on that email uh, list. Have I done something wrong? In other words, take action immediately. Take a record. Uh, if it's affecting your health, go to your GP. See a psychologist. We can help you immediately. If you wait too long, and you have a breakdown and you're not able to return to work, then it's a very long, slow process. I think the important thing is targets don't show your fear and anger because then you threaten the bully. Because at the end of the day, most bullies are insecure, worried that they'll be exposed as being incompetent, and most targets, very hardworking, conscientious people who like to tick all the boxes and threaten the bullies who are feeling vulnerable. So don't show your fear, don't show your anger, be very neutral.